Hey everybody. This is your friendly yarn barf. It's very warm out today. I'm a mess. I just got back from the, the doctors. I was supposed to go to Walmart and I didn't make it. Um, I wanted to make a quick video because Mama G Gear had sent me a little package of Happy Mail. But I'm mad at you, Mama G. <laughs> I'm mad at you. I got a Mary Maxim catalog in the mail. So what do I hear in my head? Mary Maxim mystery bags. Mary Maxim mystery bags. Oh, no! I'm telling you, for six hours, I've had an earworm of Mama G in my, in my head going, hey, with those little shoulders of hers going back and forth. <laughs> See what you've done? You gave me an earworm. I'll never be able to hear that name, Mary Maxim, without singing Mary Maxim Mystery Bags. Just for you. <laughs> I found this pen I bought for my dispatcher. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. I love toys. But anyway, so let's see what we've got here. I'm doing this with my phone, keeping it simple. Nothing fancy, you like breaking out the big computer in them. Last time the audio was terrible on it anyway. I don't know what happened. Um, I need a pair of scissors. And of course, I never find them when I need them. If I wasn't looking for them, they'd be up my butt. So yeah, I went to the um, my primary doctor today for uh, been battling a UTI. So I so said, yeah, I guess it's time we get over there and take care of it. All right, let's see, maybe I can do this without cutting it. I have to put the phone down. Let me switch the camera around too. Oh, it won't switch when I'm recording, really? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, duh. I learned something new. Oh. Oh, no. My neck is so stiff today, I don't know why. I swear I did. Arthritis is. Here's a pair of scissors. Creeping up on me in places I didn't have it before. Oh, and I fell this morning, getting out the door, because the young and smudge wants to dart out there. And I had two big bags of garbage to take to the dump. And then I was going to the um, well, going to the dump and then the doctor. I didn't want that little poop head running around loose for all the time I knew I'd be gone. So I got the two bags out there and I'm trying to keep him away from the door and I guess I stepped backwards and landed. Landed in the box he used, well, it was in a trash bag. But I landed on some used kitty litter. <laughs> Cats. I really, but Smudge needs a new home. He really does. And I, I, could, I could never take him to the shelter. When I had my stroke a few years ago, my friends, as well-meaning as they were, took three of my fur babies to the uh, shelter. And Saturday morning, I got one of them back, my old girl, Sandy. She was a tortoise shell. She was 13 years old. And she was really a chill cat. Nothing phased her. When I got her back, she was all blasé, like, I knew you'd be back. The other ones I'd already put down. And Misa was sick anyway, so it didn't take much. Uh, whatever they gave him didn't take much. He was already going downhill. And it's a problem when you don't have the money to get your their animals to the vets, you know. So my Sandy, she died at home, though. And the girl that used to uh, own this place was nice enough to come by and dig a big hole and we buried her in the backyard. I didn't even have the funds to get her cremated because I've got three cremated, cremated cats and I love my Sandy girl. So this was sad, you know. But everything lives and everything dies. The circle of life. So my next doctor appointment is uh, the gyno on May 30th. 
They pushed me out for three months. They had me for March 16th, and they said, oh, the doctor has to leave at 12.30. And then they scheduled me for June. I'm like, no, 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 that's too far out. I'm sorry. If I've got any problem with going on inside of me, we need to catch it early. I've already had a cyst rupture on my ovary. Oh, let's see, she got a pattern here. She got a pattern from Mama G. That's pretty. The trend shawl. I think this is what she showed on her video yesterday, where it's triangle, like a long, elongated triangle. Oh, what do we got here? The trend shawl. Enough yarn to make it. How nice. How really? How nice is that? Oh, Mama G, you that pure cotton. Ooh, that's nice. Thank you, Mama G. Oops, some more goodies. What else is she tucking here? Oh, one of her felted flowers. She is so talented. Gotta see Mama G gear. <laughs> she made a felted flower. That is so cool. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. It looks like an eyeball in the middle. Here's looking at you, kid. What was that movie? The plants are all talking to you. And <laughs> coming after you and stuff. We got a pouch. We got a big old pouch. Here's a big old pouch. Oh, what a kitty cat on there. I got a sticker in my um, that I got from Timu or Temu that I'm going to put in my um, passenger side window of my car. Because I already have a sign there, a metal sign that says, Beware of Cat. And I put that there years ago when I was going through menopause. Because, <laughs> you know, I had a really rough menopause and I had a real short views. So, <sighs> beware of cat. It was so funny, I got pulled over by a state trooper back in the early 2000s. Because um, I had them little blue lights that were all the rage in my windshield, one on each side. It's supposed to help. Uh, deflect the glare from cars and stuff coming at you. And they were just a rage. Everybody had these little tiny blue lights. I didn't know they were illegal to have. But anyway, the state trooper comes up, he sees that sign. He's got the flashlight out because it's nighttime. He's got the flashlight out. He's looking in my pickup truck cautiously like, where is it? You know, he must have thought I had a tiger or something. Finally, he comes around to me and, of course, shines a flashlight in my eyes. But he was looking for the cat because it said, Beware cat. People said they liked my sign. I said, Thank you. I said, That refers to me when I was going through many paws. <laughs> okay, now we're going to try it. Oh! Oh! Lucky! Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Who made this? Nomad, okay, I didn't know. Mama G's been dyeing yarn. She's doing a fabulous job at it. Oh, this is this hand dyed. Wow, hand dyed by Mama G. This is gorgeous. I love, I love purples. I love color. Oh, Mama G. Wow, 100% baby alpaca. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very soft. Three ply sport weight, which is good. I never used to like sport weight, but I love it now. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, Mama G, thank you so much. I'm not mad at you anymore. <laughs> I'm not mad that you gave me an earworm. 291 yards, three ply sport weight, hand dyed. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. And more goodies, an ocean pouch. Oh, I have just some stitch markers. There's a needle threader in here that's very helpful. See a tape measure. Oh, what, this is awesome. Happy mail. Oh, my goodness. The stitch markers. Look at these. These are so cute. She's such a talented woman. And yeah, she's a very, she, she's endearing. <laughs> you can't help but get yourself endeared to Mama G. Like I said, I get a Mary Maximum catalog and then I'm going, Mary Maximum. Mystery bag. You got to see her do it. She got the little. She's petite. She got the little shoulders. We go back and forth. She's singing it. <laughs> she's got a theme song for Mary Maxim, and it gave me an earworm for six hours. I'll probably have it for the next six hours. On top of that, 
Mama G, thank you so much, honey. Her auction, I think, is on the 20th. Be there or be square. It'll be after Dee's Creative Hands Live. She'll be having a live auction. I've donated to it. A lot of people have donated to it. It's mental health, the health and meows. Because May is mental health month. So I um, guess I should check myself into the sanatorium. <laughs> Wait a minute. What did I lose? I lose stuff. Put it right down in front of me and I lose it already. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's big and it's red and it's got a big pair of lips. The thing I was just using disappeared. It's on my bed. You know, if I stand up, I'll find it. I could be sitting on it for all I know. But thank you, Mama G. I love this. It's gorgeous and it's so soft and it's so special because you made it. You are such an incredibly talented person. It's really funny how everybody has, you know, gravitated to other crafts in the community. Yarn dyeing, spinning fiber, making their own yarn. Oh, no! <laughs> That's what I said when I saw the Mary Maxim catalog. Oh, no! It's Mary Maxim, mystery bags. <laughs> Love you, Mama G. Have a blessed one, everyone. See you later. <laughs>